afternoon. I'm Charles Lejano. This is One News Now. Authorities in Quezon City are ramping up efforts to stop the spread of the coronavirus by rounding up residents who are not observing quarantine protocols. To give us the latest, we have Romel Lopez reporting live from Quezon City. Romel, what's going on in QC? Yes, Charles QC Task Force Disciplina conducted an operation Monday morning to see how much the residents follow the city's quarantine protocol. Just like before, residents without face masks were apprehended, but this time a couple was also caught with drugs as they tried to escape the task force operatives. QCF task force, QC task force Disciplina wasted no time as they inspected the vicinity of Balintawak Market in earlier Monday morning. Their target, those who are violating the city's quarantine protocols. Aside from those who are maskless, residents not wearing their face mask properly were also apprehended. A drunk, mass, a drunk man was also accosted, but he also refused to use his face mask properly. A total of 17 quarantine violators were arrested, including a couple, which also got busted for allegedly possessing drugs. One of the operatives was about to interrogate the female suspect for not wearing a face mask when he quickly handed over a pouch to his partner. The police and operatives found out that the pouch contained a crystallized substance suspected to be drugs. A total of 10,000 pesos, supposed to be a drug money, was also recovered from the couple. They were placed under police custody and will undergo investigation for the violation. According to the task force disciplina, since the imposition of the MECQ, they have already apprehended at least 750 violators or an average of 100 violators per day. Charles violators are fined 1,000 pesos for the first offense, 3,000 pesos for the second offense, and 5,000 pesos for the third violation. They can also get a jail time for not more than three months for violating QC's quarantine protocol. Charles? Thanks for that. That was Romel Lopez reporting live from Quezon City. Here are other stories we are keeping our eyes on. Malacanang is leaving it to the Senate to deal with reports that PhilHealth officials may skip the August 11 hearing for various medical reasons. The palace says the task force organized by the Justice Department will simply proceed with its investigation on the various corruption allegations plaguing PhilHealth. The task force is expected to submit its findings and recommendations to the Office of the President next month. Anakpawis party list condemns the killing of National Chairperson Randy Echanis past midnight today. The group says police forces killed the 72-year-old NDFP consultant along with one of his neighbors inside a rented house in Novaliches. Echanis was also the Deputy Secretary General of the Kilosang Magbubukid ng Pilipinas. And Tropical Depression Ferdy has exited the Philippine area of responsibility at 9 a.m. today. However, the combined effect with the enhanced southwest monsoon will continue to bring strong winds over the entire Luzon. That's on top of the monsoon rains over northern Luzon and occasional rain in Batanes, Cagayan, Metro Manila, and in the southern Tagalog region. For more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star, and Business World online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. And you can also catch One News on the Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News Live anytime, anywhere. I'm Charles Lejano. We are One News.